كثير يعني وهلو لقطة تم لساني يفقى وقوي دير بدن سيستاني لزين جهتو من السلام عليكم مبارمة الله وبركاته أيام جدانا أنا مسيك في أزول أنا مدي ينغش ما يرجعون أوفيس بشلس أنا مدي ينغش موريش تشبيكا And today is the 4th of Ramadan and I hope you are, you are enjoying your Ramadan and celebrating a healthy Ramadan as I told you I'll come with a story of a prophet. And today's story of prophet is Hazrat Hud al-Islam. Hazrat Hud al-Islam was sent to idolaters and preached the message of Islam to them. The idolaters disbelieved them and worshipped their souls for their religion and did not see. And the reference is mentioned in Surah Hud, chapter number 11, verse number 50. And to all, we sent their brother Hud. He said, O oh, oh people, worship Allah. He is the only true Lord for you. Indeed, they were fabricators. So, the people of God were mighty and Allah gave them many powers. And after that, Hazrat Hud arrest, but they actually follow the message of Allah. But within the passage of time, they forgot the message of Allah and then gone to idolate. Then Allah sent Hazrat Hud al-Islam to preach them to the right message. Hazrat Hud al-Islam said to them, O people, worship Allah and Allah is the only true Lord. But what the disbelievers say, they said that we are more mighty than Allah but Allah is the most mightiest. And some people said to Hazrat al-Islam that you are a naive person and you are a liar. So that wasn't true actually. He actually preached them to the right path and they didn't listen to him. Very because they were the disbelievers. So Hazrat al-Islam after many years of preaching, Hazrat al-Islam asked Allah for a severe punishment. So the punishment was clear. One day a drought came and this drought lasted for eight days and eight nights. And after that a cloud came. Everybody ran out of their tents and they were happy that the rain has came. But the thing happened opposite. For eight days and eight nights the disbelievers were, um, were very, there was a thunderstorm and they were, they did it with, and he sent a severe tempest of eight days and eight nights without a break, giving no chance to breathe. So they lived in a place which is Iraq and it, the mention, it's mentioned in Surah Fajr, chapter number 89, verse number 7, in Ramadan, in Imam that the Aram was the city, was a city of buildings. So they lived in the city of Aram and Hazahud was sent to Aram. So Hazahud and only Hazahud al Islam and the believers were saved from this strong tempest. And before their tempest they migrated to Makkah and lived a happy life of Allah. So right now in Aram nobody lives and that's a sand view, right? It's a desert right now. Actually, see that somebody have le Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala left marks of some people like Samud and many more disbelievers. But for us, the reason is opposite. They, he left no mark from them. So, what I told you that Hazrat al Islam died in Makkah and was buried there. So, the more we learn from the story is that the nations who are stubborn and do not listen to anybody, those will be wiped off the face on the earth, wiped off the face of, of the earth. And the one who are the true followers of Allah, remember Allah, have patience, they will be indeed live in peace. So it's a time for an attribute. So it's a time for attribute of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And today's attribute is dress. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was very particular in dresses. He forbade men from wearing silky or gold ornaments. For but for women, it wasn't prohibited. He was against luxurious life and like white cotton. He dare wear colorful sex. I mean the 
showy and even the costly dresses. I mean costly that some people waste a lot of money on just one thing. So as mentioned in Suri Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 27. It says that in the Moba Zirina Panu Ihwana Shayati Kan Shaitanu li Rabbihi Kafura. It means indeed the spendthrifts are the brothers of Seth, and the serpent for the Lord, he is indeed our disbeliever. And the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, didn't occupy any special clothing, as I told you before. So that was a time that, that was a short time for a attribute of Prophet Muhammad Such a time for healthy Mazhab clothing. They start by eating two dates, especially if you have dizziness or headache due to low blood sugar levels. And even drink water after the dates and have a soup to prepare your stomach. And as I told you, that don't eat the more the ice, don't drink the ice water because of stomach disorder. And having the appetizer is the salad, the most best appetizer. After preparing your stomach. Now we are heading to the mandish. Remember, do not, don't eat so much of the mandish. Have a portion of the mandish, which should contain, contain proteins, carbohydrates, vitamins, and minerals. In proteins like chicken, beef, and mutton. And in the protein, in, and in the uh, carbohydrates, pasta, rice, potatoes. So, and also in the vitamins and minerals, they will be the fruits and vegetables, why not, of course. And what about fats? People like to eat samosa, rolls. If you want, have that. Enjoy the Ramadan treats, but have a little bit of those things because they have, they are very oily. And they can give you, consume the weight. Mostly canola and soya bean oil. They also contain the fats. So um, that was our end. The last moderation is the key to health. Have a have a portion of your food, so you should not eat too much of it. So that's our key of moderation. That that was our trip for today. Living in German. That's all for today. It's time for today's quiz. Today's quiz is with the after generation of R. I'll be waiting for your answers and feedback. And if you want to see more videos, go to my website jazakallahu or even log into my Facebook page. Jazakallahu khairan wa assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.